Rob, what is our second main topic? John, about? our second main topic comes to us from Sally. No. Hey, guys. My most anticipated movie for the rest of the year is not Avatar, but rather Puss in Boots, <laughs> The Last Wish. I'm a big animation fan, but aside from Turning Red and The Bad Guys, I haven't really liked this year's animated films. That said... It looks like Puss in Boots will change that, as the first reviews are very positive, saying that it's better than the first one even. Does this make you more excited? What are your thoughts? This was funny. I was, I think it was, I might have been doing an Ask Me Anything on the weekend, and somebody brought up that they went to go see an advanced screening of this. I'm like, oh, there were advanced screens. I went, oh my God, I had tickets to that. And I had totally forgotten about it. Totally forgotten about it. Of course, I'm not a huge Puss in Boots guy, all right? I mean, I thought it was very, very charming in the Shrek films. Um, the, the the movies have had their moments. I, I don't dislike them, but I'm not a huge Shrek guy or a huge uh, Puss in Boots guy. But when the trailer came, that last full trailer, I, it kind of won me over. I thought, well, this looks totally really agree. interesting. Well, the reviews are looking great. And if we want to pull up my computer screen here for a second, uh, the, uh, the actual computer screen, not mm -hmm. the iPad. But if we looked at that right now, uh, not many, just just eleven, just eleven. All of them positive except one, uh, Bibiani. <laughs> Was it Bibiani? <laughs> Bibiani right now is the one dissenting voice, but everybody else is joke. raving about it. And more importantly, the audience score is sitting at. So we got a critic score of ninety one, an audience score of ninety eight. And here's the more key thing: is that the unlike say, Strange World. Where you know seventy percent of the critics said they like it, but when you read their comments, they're like, "Yeah, we we like it. It's a fine, it's a fine little movie." But the people who are liking Puss in Boots are really, really liking it a lot. Again, except for Bibiani, and who knows? Maybe I'll end up agreeing with him. I haven't seen the movie yet myself, but I think this is a really good sign. This is coming out, and Christian, for me, like I don't know. You and I never talked about the trailer that came out for this. I was really pleasantly surprised by the trailer even though i'm not big into this property it's very exciting to see these types of numbers because you know what i'll say right now i think this movie as far as animation goes this movie's going to make bank i think this movie is going to make into the three four hundred plus million dollar range but i don't know what do you think about this well it's the same thing we're just saying with um with avatar for kids movies it's the only game in town uh during that time really um and to be completely honest with you I thought it was a direct to streaming movie at first. So, so I, did I. So I, I just, the same thing. so I just ignored it. I was like, not not that I wouldn't probably catch it with my daughter or something, you know. But then I started hearing more about it, and people was like, no, this is. And I started getting emails about it, and I'm like, oh, you know, I haven't watched the trailer yet because I don't want to because I have a I actually have a screening link for it because I think that they're pushing it now for potential awards. Yeah, and that. Is so I will be watching it. I'm gonna I'm gonna have the the five year old watch it. Who saw Strange World with me? And I agree with the critics too. To me, it was fine. It's forgettable. This movie could be a surprise animation hit. People love the character, so I'm I'm actually way more I'm anticipating it now. At very similar to the viewer to where I wasn't beforehand, but now hearing the positive buzz, more word of mouth, and and the idea that it's something I could watch with my with my little one, I'm I'm pretty excited about it. Rob, what are you taking away from this? Well, you know, here's the thing with these, with animated films or any movie, it's the premise that attracts me. What is this movie about? I think this movie has a pretty genius premise. The idea that Puss in Boots, who's a cat, has used up eight of his lives, and he's got one left. I'm, as a cat lover, John, that premise is fascinating. Oh. But no, oh. but it's fascinating to me because it plays on the, you know, the, the whole myths of, of felines and all that. And I love the idea that, You've got this hero, call it anything, but the hero knows that he has to hang up his his spurs. Like this is this is the end of the end of a, it's a, it, it could be unforgiven. You know the same way like one last mission, one last ride. I have to do one last thing to redeem myself. That's a great idea that always works. And the fact that watching it when you watch this trailer, dude, the tr you'll you'll be like, okay, everything Goldilocks and right. her three bears. Everything about this movie looks like. And animation is only as good as the ideas behind it. The gags, the story, the execution. This to me looks like, just from the trailer, a movie that I, as a jaded film goer, I'm, I'm like, I wanna see that. Uh, if this were live action, if it was animation, I'd still wanna see it because the premise interests me. I wanna know, how does this story resolve? I I have to admit, there every once in a while, there'll be a moment in a trailer where I don't nearly spit up whatever it is I'm drinking at the time. 
that scene where because he's got to retire because he only has one life left so he can't do any adventuring and he goes to that old woman's house with all the cats and he tries to use the toilet she goes no 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 you have to go over here and she puts him down in front of the litter box and puts in boots is looking at the litter box and he says this is where dignity goes to die <laughs> i just about died but I that's a so great much. gag yeah it is. i mean that's a funny that it shows there's witness film yeah there seems to be a lot of it and listen i'll tell you what i get while i'm you know what I, i'd be remiss um i have i never thought they existed but apparently there are people who are not just fans of but obsessed with the world of shrek hmm. uh, we've got one of them in the office i have never met anybody more obsessed <laughs> with shrek and the world of shrek so i must ask you taylor mm -hmm. uh, it's a spin-off but yeah. are, where's your excitement level for puss in boots through the roof uh i am so excited for this we're all gonna go together we're all gonna dress up as cats when you we're say all we, gonna wear boots you, who do you uh, i mean ray you I, mean, John, I, mean, John, I mean rob christian you could bring your five-year-old have you enjoyed your time working here <laughs> Would you like it to continue? The only no, people sorry. more excited for Puss in Boots 2 than me would be Smash Mouth, because look at what it's doing for them. <laughs> That's right. I mean, they're suddenly going to be relevant again. Yeah. All right, guys. Question is for <laughs> Relevant's you. Relevant's a strong word. <laughs> well, they're all, well, they're all over TikTok. Strong word. What do you guys think about all this? The the word coming out about it is like really, really exceptional. Uh, did you like the trailer? Maybe you don't care about the property at all. Are you looking forward to it? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to thank the sponsor of today's video, True Classic. The holidays are here and there is plenty of t-shirt cheer thanks to our sponsor, True Classic Tees. Guys, we have the perfect gift for your wish list. True Classic Tees are a gift for you, for her, and a great present for any guy in your life. True Classic is on a mission to maximize men's confidence by making them look good. Get 25% off True Classic with my exclusive link, trueclassic.com slash campia, and the discount doesn't stop there. You'll save even more during their site-wide sale. Guys, like most of you, I have always struggled with finding the right shirts for me. Either they're not all that comfortable or they don't fit me all that right. Well, the best thing is, is that True Classics team has designed t-shirts to make guys of all sizes feel confident in their clothing. These shirts taper off towards the bottom, but they fit tighter around the chest and shoulders. This is the perfect look that can be achieved by every body type. And they offer other menswear as well, ranging from polos to workout shirts designed to keep your body feeling nice and comfy. So guys, get 25% off at trueclassic.com slash campia. Free shipping included on purchases over $100. That's 25% off at trueclassic.com slash campia.